Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing the derivative of exponential functions. So we have here the derivative of exponential functions. We have the derivative of a constant raised to a an expression that contains a variable that is equivalent to a raised to u, basically copying the expression times ln of a or the constant natural logarithm of the constant times the derivative of our u with respect to x and we also have the derivative of e raised to u that is equivalent to e raised to u basically copying the expression still multiplying that by the derivative of our u with respect to x so we have here some examples on uh, related to exponential functions, so first we have find the dy over dx of y is equivalent to e raised to negative 3x. So as you can see from here, basically this is, uh, our u is equivalent to e, uh, 3, negative 3x. So again, our u is equivalent to negative 3x. So that means we also need to find our du over dx. So again, if this is our u, our ex expression will become e raised to u. And as we know, the derivative of e raised to u is e raised to u itself times the derivative of u with respect to x. So that's why we need to find the derivative of our u. So du over dx is equivalent to negative 3. So from that, we can find now our dy over dx or our y prime that is equivalent to e raised to negative 3x times negative 3, which is our du over dx. So um, simplifying this one or normalizing our equation, we have negative 3 e raised to negative 3x. So this is now our final answer. Next example we have here, y is equivalent to 10 raised to second 3x. So basically, the, we still have to find the dy over dx of this one. And as you can see, the, the base is a constant number. So that's why this is now equivalent to a raised to u. And as we know from the slides earlier, a raised to u is equivalent to a raised to u ln of a times the du over dx. So our a here is 10 and our u is secant 3x. So again, our u is secant 3x and the derivative of that is secant tangent. So the derivative of sec is sec x tan x. So we have secant 3x tangent 3x and the derivative of our angle here which is 3 so i'll just write it before the trigonometric functions so we now have the derivative of our u and and now we can find the dy over dx or our y prime so substituting all the values that we have in our derivative a is 10 raised to uh sec, sec, secant 3x times ln of 10, since our a is 10, times our d over dx, which is 3 secant 3x tangent 3x. So, arranging our final answer, we have 3 secant 3x tangent 3x times 10 raised to second 3x ln of 10. So this is now our final answer since we cannot simplify this anymore. The third example that we have here is y is equivalent to x times e raised to negative x squared. So as you can see, this has two terms, the x and the e raised to negative x squared. So basically using the product rule, this would be our u, and e raised to negative x squared will be our v. So we're writing that here we have u is equal to x, du over dx is equivalent to 1, our v is equivalent to e raised to negative x squared, and the derivative of our v with respect to x is basically the, the expression itself, e raised to negative x squared, 
times the derivative of our exponent, which is negative 2x. That gives us negative 2x e raised to negative x squared. So afterwards, after we have identified our u, v, and its derivatives, we can now solve our y prime or the derivative of our y using the product rule. So we have u dv plus v du. So we have u times the derivative of v, which is negative 2x e raised to negative x squared, plus our v, which is e raised to negative x squared, times the derivative of u, which is 1. So basically, simplifying this, x times negative 2x e raised to negative x squared is negative 2x squared e raised to negative x squared plus e raised to negative x squared. And since there's a common term between them, we, between the terms, we can factor out what's common. We can move e raised to negative x squared outside. So we have e raised to negative x squared times negative 2x, or we can have this one here since it is positive, minus 2x squared. So this is now our final answer. The last example for this video is we have y is equivalent to arc sine e raised to negative x, where x is equivalent to 2. So, since there is an equivalent value for the variable x, meaning to say our result or the answer of this one is a constant value. So, from here, as we, as we have discussed from the previous discussions, we have discussed the derivative of arc sine. So, the derivative of arc sine is 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. So from here, our u is e raised to negative x and our du is just e raised to negative x times negative 1 because the derivative of negative x is negative 1. So basically, our d over dx is just equivalent to negative e raised to negative x. So that being said, our y prime is 1 over square root of 1 minus u, which is e raised to negative x squared, times our d over dx, which is negative e raised to negative x. So simplifying our equation, we have negative e raised to negative x all over square root of 1 minus e raised to negative x squared, that is e raised to negative 2x. And since we cannot simplify this anymore, or we can do so by multiplying with the conjugate of the denominator since this is radical, but also you can have this as your final answer. However, we still have to substitute the value of our x. So at x is equivalent to 2, our y prime is equivalent to negative e raised to negative 2 all over square root of 1 minus e raised to negative 2 times 2. And if you calculate this one, this will give us the final answer approximately equivalent to negative 0 0.14. So this is now our final answer. So, so I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you on my next videos.